Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my November panels eyeshadows update. This is my favorite panning project. I've been doing this for now two years. This is my second year, so going on my third year next year. I have made so much progress this year, guys. When I started doing panning projects, I don't think I had a single eyeshadow pan in my collection. And now as of the time I'm filming this, I actually have 30 pans in my collection already. So in two years, we've been able to hit 30 pans. I feel like that's pretty good, especially for the amount of eyeshadow I have. And also the fact that I do still like to try new things. So I'm very happy with that number. I don't know what the exact percent is, but I think it came out to like 1.06% or something in my collection because I do have quite a bit of eyeshadow. But enough of me rambling, let's go ahead and jump into the update. I have not one, but two bonus pans to share for you guys today. So we'll start with probably the lesser of the exciting two because I did talk about this in my last update, I believe. Um, this is the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I was able to hit a bonus pan in Tempura. Last update, I was working on Tempura out of my Soft Glam palette from ABH. It is the same shade, just in two different palettes and I did manage to hit pan on both of them now, so I'm very happy about that. The pan in here is looking a little, little crusty, rusty, but I did hit pan in Tempura again. And then the second pan I hit, also not a super exciting shade, but it comes out of my Tartlet in Bloom palette. And the shade I hit pan on is Charmer. Charmer is this matte white cream shade up in the top. And as you can see, I did hit a pretty decent sized pan in there. It is definitely not a tiny baby pan. I hit pan pan in there. And I just use that as my lid setting shade pretty much every day for the past like two months. And that is how I was able to hit pan on it. So go us, we hit two bonus pans, pretty proud of that. Granted, they are two very boring shades, but I hit pan. And I do have two more pans to share, so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the update. I'm just gonna go with the order that I have them written down in my tracking notebook. So the first shade I have written down is the Pisces from the ColourPop and Kathleen Light Zodiac palette. The Pisces is this really pretty mint, tealy aqua shimmer. I just named like three different blue greenish colors. And I only used the Pisces one time this month. Honestly, I can't even remember when I used it this month. I think I used it in like an all bluish aqua look, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to go through my photos and check, but I only used the Pisces one time this month for a grand total of eight uses in the project so far. As a whole, I do really enjoy using this shade. It does stain my eyes pretty bad, which I thought was pretty interesting considering it's more of like a blue green. And I feel like I typically get staining with like the reds and purples, but this is one of the older palettes in my collection. So it's nice to have a little bit more love in that one. This one is staying in for the next round. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you all. So that is the Pisces. Very, very pretty. The second shade in my current rotation comes from my Melt Imori Mariposas palette. This is the holiday palette from last year, I believe. And we've been working on Nueva Vida, which is this dark bloodish brick red. And I used Nueva Vida six times this month for a grand total of 18 uses in the project. Um, because I am on my second to last update, next month's update will be my finale for the year before I start fresh in January. I don't find it worth it to roll out any shades at this point unless I have hit pan on them. So even though I am right near my usage goal and I don't think I'll hit pan by the end of the year, I am going to leave this shade in the project for the next month because I don't want to roll in something new and definitely not hit pan on it. At least now I'm making progress on shades that I have in my project. Look how pigmented that is. I use Nueva Vita primarily with warm neutral looks, very similar to the look I have today, where I would do just like a nice warm brown crease, you know, maybe a shimmer on the lid and then Nueva Vita in like the very outer corner. So I had like these reddish brown looks, maybe like a gold on the lid or a bronze, very simple. I didn't use a ton of it when I used it, which is why you're not seeing a ton of use on the pan itself but as you can see there are some embossed butterflies on a lot of these shades and we've blurred the butterfly out for the most part so although we haven't made an immense amount of progress we do have some wear showing so i'll take it as a win the next shade in my current rotation comes from my ColourPop and the mandalorian the child palette we love a good baby yoda moment and the shade i've been working on is little frog which is this matte green with like a little bit of a sparkle it's like a sequin screen shade I used Little Frog eight times this month for a grand total of nine uses in the project. And I used this in just straight green looks. Honestly, I used 
my Melt Gemini palette in conjunction with this shade. And I was able to do quite a bit with that. And then also my Odin's Eye Merry Christmas palette. I was able to combine Little Frog with some of the greens in that palette. So I did a lot of green looks this month, a lot of like grungier green looks. I definitely am not anywhere close to hitting pan, but I do feel like you're starting to see that this shade has been used a few times. If you're looking at it closely, you can see that there is a little dip forming in the middle of that pan. So this one is also staying in. Hopefully we have some more progress by the end of the year, but so far so good on this one as well. The next shade comes from my Lunar Beauty at Strawberry Dream palette. And the shade that we rolled in last update is Blue Sky, which is this electric blue at the bottom. And I only used Blue Sky one time since rolling it in last month. And I'm pretty sure if I didn't get pictures, I can't confirm, but I'm pretty sure the only time I used Blue Sky was with the Pisces and I did like a blue turquoise look. I want to say that happened. I could be crazy. I'm going to have to go through and check out my photos to be sure, but that is how we used Blue Sky. Like I said, I normally feel like because I didn't use it at all, it's definitely not a shade I'm gravitated towards. I might have rolled this out had this been the beginning of the project, but like I said, we're in the second to last video for the year of this series, and I feel like it's not worth rolling it out if there, I'm just going to get another shade that I'm only going to use maybe once or twice. So this one is staying in until the end of the year as well. And now the moment that everybody's been waiting for, sorry to make you all wait so long, but we have my two pans to share, my additional two pans because we had the two bonus pans. The first shade comes from my Huda Beauty Pastels Mint palette, and we rolled in last update the Mint Shimmer shade, which is this top middle shade right here. I only used this 20 times, and I hit pan on it. I did not expect to hit pan on it. Pan happened very quickly, so I'm very happy to have pan in this one. This was one of my randomly generated shades, so I will be randomly generating a new shade to take its place, but this is what what we have. I use this uh, pretty much exclusively as an inner corner highlight. I think I used it all over the lid um, with one green look, but for the most part, I'd used it as an inner corner highlight on a pencil brush, which is why the pan looks very oddly circular and tiny. Go me, this was my first time panning a Huda Beauty shade, so I'm very happy with that. And the last shade that I have is my hand selected shade for the month, and that comes from my ColourPop Malibu Barbie palette. And the shade that I selected is SoCal, which is this bright matte orange at the bottom. I did hit a little pinhole pan in there, right in the middle. You can kind of see if you squint hard enough. I used SoCal 12 times this month, um, and it did not take me 12 uses to hit pan. It actually took me 35 uses. I have 35 uses total recorded because I was working on the shade in last year's project towards the end of the year, but I was not able to hit pan on it when I was working on it last year. I did roll it back in. I feel like for my hand selected shades, now that I have been doing panning projects for a little while, I tend to gravitate towards shades that I either had rolled in at one point or ones that I've naturally just gotten a lot of use out of and think I could hit pan on. So this was my shade that I rolled back in from last year. I didn't really do any purely orange looks. I did one that was orange and pink, kind of like a bubblegum orange look and then I also did a lot of warm neutral looks where I would put more like a golden brown in the crease and then a little bit of the orange and then mix it with some dark brown so you got a really nice bronzy crease that's primarily how I used it but we did manage to hit pan so there are my four pans for the update so we do have one randomly generated shade to roll in and then we also have one hand selected shade I have a new camera setup and I meant to do this last time but I completely forgot Due to my new camera setup, I can use my pretty random app. So we're gonna randomly generate a number. This was just my test number to make sure that my thing was working. So we're gonna go ahead and shake for one number. And that is 684. So let me go check for the spreadsheet and then I'll also show you my hand selected shade. So shade 64 comes from my ColourPop Butter Me Up palette. And the shade that we rolled in is Reckless, which is right here on the bottom. I actually think I'm gonna re-roll because it looks so much like Nueva Vida, it, they look identical. The Butter Me Up shade looks maybe just half a step darker, but they look almost identical. And considering I'm not gonna hit pan on Nueva Vida, I don't need to use two of the same exact shades. So we're actually gonna re-roll for the number. Hopefully none of y'all think that's cheating. I just don't wanna work on five of the same shades. 
So the new number is 157, which I think is actually gonna be an ABH shade. So shade 157 actually comes from my ABH Amrezy palette, and this is my favorite shade in the entire palette. We rolled in Barb, which is this really pretty white shimmer with like, it's like a white pink shimmer. Please ignore the crazy lighting. Winter is definitely not my time of year, and it's like, causing my light to be all crazy and I don't love it. But there is Barb, it's just this really pretty shade. It has a little bit of the blue mixed in because I used the same finger to swatch. But I'm very pleased with that. Barb will be such a fun one to work on. And then for my individually selected shade, this does not go with the color story at all, but I feel like I'm so close to hitting pan on it. I could maybe use it one or two more times and have pan. I'm working out of my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette, the original Gingerbread Spice, and I've decided to work on the shade Warm and Toasty, which is this gold right here. And if I zoom y'all in a little bit, I have a really massive dip in this shadow, and I think I could have pan if I use this maybe two or three more times. It's just a really pretty bronze. I've been wearing a lot of bronze looks lately, so I really feel like I could have pan in it. Maybe next update for the finale. You know, I'm gonna try and hit pan in as many of these as possible for the finale. We'll try. But thank you guys so much for joining me for this update. Let me know what y'all think about the color story that we're working with. It's definitely a funky one. I feel like we always start out the year with like a cohesive color story and by the end of the year, we just get this. Um, I definitely think I will have some more progress by next update and I can't wait to see you guys next month for the finale. And with that, I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are and I will see you all later. Bye friends.